Hello students I hope all of you are fit and fine Today in this particular session we will be continuing our last chapter that we had started and we will also finish the lesson plants preparing and storing food The topics that we are going to cover today are energy flow in living things animals and plants depends on each other and balance in nature so these are the three topics that we are going to cover today talking about energy flow in living things we need energy for every activity that we do this energy comes from food this food is prepared by green plants green plants trap the sun's energy and during photosynthesis they prepare food This energy is passed on to humans and animals when they eat the plants. This way energy flows from sun to plants and then to animals and human beings also. So we are all dependent on each other. Like we are dependent on plants, plants are also dependent on us. Okay? So we are important in that sense. So see here there is a picture which shows that sun emitting energy and plants use this sun's energy to prepare food then we eat that food and we emit carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is again used by plants so like this we are all dependent on each other talking about animals and plants the way they are dependent on each other animals and plants depend on each other for everything for survival also animals need food to eat and oxygen to breathe and plants give animals this food and oxygen this is why fish live longer in an aquarium with water plants in it than in one without them okay so in aquarium if there are water plants then they can survive longer okay plants need carbon dioxide to prepare food and from where do they get carbon dioxide animals breathe out carbon dioxide we humans bring uh, breathe out carbon dioxide so this is used by plants so plants and animals depend on each other in that sense that's why i said that animals and plants they are interdependent okay both cannot live without each other so this is a balance in nature the number of animals and number of plant should be in proper amount only then there will be balance in nature a balance needs to be maintained between number of plants and animals what will happen if there is sudden increase in number of animals plants may not be able to supply enough food and oxygen to all these animals only if there is sudden increase in number of plants the carbon dioxide breathed out by animals may not be enough for the plants okay so there should be proper number of plants and animals Similarly if there is sudden decrease in the number of plants or animals it will disturb the balance in nature so to maintain this balance we have to protect both plant as well as animal life and a wildlife protection program wild animals are given special protections in forest reserves and sanctuaries programs like vana mahotsav help to promote the planting of trees people are made aware of harmful effects caused by continuous cutting down of trees if life on earth has to go on smoothly a balance in nature must be maintained well that was all for today these are some questions that you can try out at home how are plants and animals depend on each other write a short note on balance in nature which program helps to save trees draw a scene to depict the interdependence of plants and animals go for nature walk and find out the names of at least three new plants so this is an exercise for you i will repeat how are plants and animals dependent on each other write a short note on balance in nature which programs helps to save trees draw a scene to depict the interdependence of plants and animals and lastly you have to go for nature walk and find out names of few plants okay maybe at least 3 you can try okay so that was all from me thank you for attending this session if you have any doubt feel free to ask you can put your comments in comment box see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye